Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to this channel, Monica Jaga. Thank you very much for joining the family. Remember, I'm your sister in prosperity and in possibility. So feel comfortable, you are in the light place. So for today's topic, I want to have fun. I want to tell you about eight things I love about living in Paris, okay? So yeah, I have given you my, uh, my story about how I came to Paris, and now I'm gonna give you eight point, eight things that I love living in Paris. So let's start. Bonjour mes abonnés français, bienvenue à ma chaîne. Aujourd'hui on va parler les choses, les dix choses que les français font mieux. Faut le mieux, ok? Bon, bah, le garder, hein? Okay, the first thing that I love living in Paris is security. In Paris, in France, in general, you have security. You can walk uh, out at night by your own and yes, you are secure, yeah? So yeah, I, I know there's a lot of cameras and all this, but we feel like you are being observed, but it's good for our security. So that's the first thing I love about Paris compared to my, to my country, Kenya, whereby when you when it's dark you can't walk around because anyway you never know yeah so that's the first thing that i love in paris yeah? security is very good so yeah I, I remember that the first time i came to paris we used to go to to dancing in the at night and you know when you coming back at night uh, allowed one or two in the, in the at night oh yeah you see like yeah in, in africa i couldn't walk like this during the uh, in the, in the middle of the night yeah so that's the thing that I love in Paris, yeah? You love it in Paris for the security. The second thing that I love in Paris is medical insurance. Yes, it's very good uh, medical insurance here because when you get sick, you go to your, med your, your doctor. Yeah, you have a card, it's called Cat Vital. And, uh, and with that Cat Vital, you have to have it when you come to Paris. If you stay in three months to Paris, you have to get it, yeah? So that when you get sick, you can go see the, med, uh, the doctor and you get treated, yeah? So yeah, and uh, you, have, you pay just a little bit if you're, you're working. And if you're not working, you, you, are, you, are, uh, you, are not, you are not supposed to pay anything, yeah? They call it SMU. So yeah, it's, uh, it's cover everything for you if you're not working, if you're looking for a job or yeah. So yeah, but you have to have the situation, yeah? You have to have the papers, but yeah, if you are sick, you can go see the doctor and you get treated. That's the thing, the second thing that I love in Paris, yeah? Not like in, uh, in Africa or in, uh, elsewhere in the world, whereby if you don't have money, you are not treated, yeah? But here, even if, yeah, even if most of the people who are not working are, are the more treated, are the more treated, yeah? Because, you know, they profit, they take profit of everything. They, they are being treated 100% free. So, yeah. But anyway, if you're in a good situation and you have a, a job, yeah, you're going you're gonna to just pay a little bit. But with that a little bit, you're going to take a, 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 sec, a second insurance, the private insurance for you, so that when you go to the doctor, the, the government going to uh, pay for you 70% and the 30% going to be... Uh, paid by your insurance or if you don't have that insurance you're gonna pay by yourself yeah so that's the second thing about living in paris number three is uh job insurance yeah yeah it's in fa in in paris in france in general if you have a job you have uh you, you are secured yeah you are secured because if your your employer tries to fire you and yeah you have to give you a paper so that you can take it to to a certain uh, job center, it's called full employer, whereby they're gonna be giving you some money. They're gonna give give you seventy or seventy five percent of your salary until you get another job. Yeah, that's very inconvenient because yeah, when you're getting a job, you know you don't have to to hurry to take anything that's come on you. But yeah, it give you if you had worked uh, about two years before, you they will give you the the money. They will pay you about. Uh, about one year and a half, seventy percent of your salary until you get your 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 job. Yeah, so that's very convenient, and I like it uh, here in Paris. So yeah, if you lost your job, yes, you're gonna get uh, paid by the government, and uh, yeah, that's very. And many people are taking advantage of that. Yeah, many people from 
Arabic countries, from uh, West Africans. There are many people who come here and then they take advantage of that, yeah? Because even, even you, when you surpass the two years, they're going to also be paying you, but they're going to reduce it. It'll be maybe about, about 5, 500 euros or 400 euros. And yeah, you're gonna get still get paid. Yeah, you can't stay without food. I am gonna be get paid uh, around sixth of every month. So yeah, that's very number four. Yeah, is maternity leaves. Maternity leaves in Paris. Yeah, you have a month before you give birth and two months after you give birth. Yeah. So and you have palento after that. You have palento. Uh, living whereby you can take until uh, three years if you have two kids yeah so and you're gonna get some a uh, few money paid by the government so yeah it's very uh, very convenient very good living in Paris yeah many people come here and make babies yeah have babies because they know that they're gonna get paid and uh, each and every baby they gonna give you some money every month yeah so yeah uh, like if you have uh, one one baby they're gonna give you 180 every month for that baby yeah for, for the for your baby to take care of your baby to buy the the diapers water milk or not anything yeah they're gonna give you uh 180 and then after that they're gonna pay you for staying home with your baby and uh, yeah that's very convenient how do you think so how is it on your country is it the same way is it that way uh is that do you have that advantage uh, in your country so please if you know about that please don't forget to comment in the uh, comment below and let me let me know how it goes on your country maybe you're gonna come and make a baby over there yeah <laughs> number five is the traffic roads okay the traffic roads in france is very very strict yeah and uh, yeah in, in france when you got get a driving license you have 12 points so when you do any you you commit any mistake in the driving uh, routes traffic routes you're gonna be removed the the points yeah if you over speed if you if you don't stop on the lead light okay the traffic lights you're gonna be removed some points and the lead uh, the lead if you pass when it's lead the traffic uh, the traffic light is lead you're gonna get minus four points so yeah you, you can see if you have twelve points minus four within the day you can lose your, your your driving license and it's very hard to get driving license in france yeah that's that's another story i'm gonna tell you about it la next time yeah but yeah it's the traffic so everyone when driving they make sure that they they uh they obey the laws of the traffic because yeah it's very easy to lose your driving license in france so yeah i like it when when it's led people stop yeah and you can walk when you are if you're a pedestrian you can walk you can cross the road on the zebra crossing and yes that's the thing so number six is about public transport public transport in paris and uh, in france in general are very convenient so yeah you can walk until midnight until night late night with traffic with the transport uh, public transport yeah a lot of buses even when the metros or the the trains are, are stopped allowed maybe three they still have the night bus okay the night buses so it's very convenient it's very good organized yeah you can get those buses and walk all over if you don't have a car or if you don't have enough money to catch uh, a taxi or a uber yeah in paris it's very easy to use traf uh, the transport the public transport and it's very convenient yeah so yeah let me know about uh, your country i know in america it's not that convenient to have uh, public transport because the the country or the the states are very big so yeah let me know in the comment down below how it goes on your side on your country on the public transport so thank you so number seven is about uh education education in france is free free of charge yeah so yeah you have just to buy some small books or you know some uh, uh small things for your kids but even that the government pay you yeah when your kid go to school uh every every year they give you allowed allowed 200 or 300 euros for for you to buy all the 
all the, the needed the things needed for the for your kids to go to school yeah like books like rulers labas uh, drawing drawing pencils and uh, and the pens yeah they're gonna give you they're gonna give you some money for that and again the school is free yeah they're gonna learn free of charge but you're only supposed to pay if you want your kid to stay for lunch or after school crabs yeah that's only what you're gonna pay yeah but the school the learning it's free of charge yeah how do you think about that i would really like it to be like this in kenya and very convenient not only that public uh, so that you can get good uh, education to go to the public schools yeah the the uh, the private schools the public schools can be very good too yeah so in france you have free education for you until you get to university yeah so yeah, that's a very good thing yeah and i like paris about that so yeah that's why i'm gonna stick here <laughs> so yeah number eight is about the culture yeah french culture is very rich they have a lot of museums they have a lot of chateau and it's very uh diverse of regions yeah they have different regions okay and it's very diverse okay so yeah the culture here is you're gonna get when you go to like Blotang is uh, north of uh, Paris you're gonna you're gonna learn some new new things over there you go to the south of France you go to the coast it's a lot it's diverse yeah diversity of regions is very good in Paris and yeah if you want to see the biggest museum you know we have the Mona Lisa yeah in in Paris we have uh, Musée du Louvre we have uh, Chateau de Versailles we have a lot of chateaus here yeah so I will I gonna want you I want you to come to Paris to France and visit all the goodness all the uh, all the culture yeah and remember it's very uh, it's not that uh, expensive to visit those museums, yeah, museums, the chateaus, and uh, yeah, you can even get the public transport to 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 get you to the, uh, to the to the to the museums, and uh, yeah, it's very convenient. So uh, that's what the uh, eighth thing that I love in Paris. Number nine, it's about food. I couldn't forget about this, yeah, food and wine. Food and wine in Paris. If you, are, you like eating and you like drinking red wine, white wine, rosé, uh, you know that sweet white wine, yes, come to Paris and it's very cheap, yeah. So uh, when I compare, when I, I always go to UK or allowed Europe, when I compare the prices uh, for for the wine from UK and from to Paris, there is nothing, yeah. It's very different. In Paris, you can get a bottle of wine costing you uh, one euro yeah and uh, it's a good wine one euro two euro three euro yeah you can also get 400 euro yeah it depends on your budget and uh, what how much do you want to spend on the wine uh, remember you just drink the wine and then go to the toilet yeah so if you want to spend a hundred or a thousand euro on a wine it's a it's a choice yeah but you can get even a one euro wine in paris and yeah it's also good wine yeah so another thing is about food we have a lot of varieties of food yeah in the beginning it was very hard for me to to get adapt to adapt myself to to the food in uh, in france yeah they eat snails they eat uh frogs uh frogs thighs okay they also eat a lot of uh, cheese okay a lot of cheese there are a lot of I think it's a hundred varieties of cheese, yeah? There is brew cheese, there is camembert, I know everyone knows camembert, there is uh, uh, emonte, a lot of cheese, yeah? But I, I always like camembert is my best in Paris. And when you take that with the lead wine, mm, it's very good, yeah? You enjoy, yeah? You enjoy bread and wine, yes, that's the thing. So, yeah, so this was my... Uh, nine is it nine or ten yeah I think it's nine 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 uh, reasons that I love living in Paris yeah the nine and the, the nine things I love about living in Paris so if you have something to ask me feel free to to write your comment in the comment down below and I will really be happy to answer you that if you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for welcome to the family please subscribe consider subscribing and uh, please give this uh, video a thumbs up if you're gonna help me don't forget to share with your friends and family so that anyone can know about Paris I want you to come and any anytime you want to come to Paris just 
tell me just uh, let me know and I'll be your private guide so thank you very much for everything your support your love and I'll see you in the next one bye